Hey y'all, we're Ella and Cindy with Sharing the Journey. Today we are with some good friends, Dwayne and Mickey, and we're at Fulton Mansion in Fulton Rockport, Texas. If you've ever watched our channel, you know that we work camp our way across America, and uh, we're here getting ready to finish up our job in Rockport and head for Montana. We ran into some subscribers, Mickey and Dwayne, and decided to meet them over here at Fulton Man uh, Mansion and we're gonna to talk to them about their upcoming full-time RV life adventure. So we just got through touring the Fulton Mansion. If you're ever in the Rockport Fulton area, it's definitely worth coming by and doing. I think it was $7 a head. If you have a head and $7, you can come in. <laughs> wow. So we're gonna talk real quick with Dwayne and Mickey who are getting ready to start their full-time adventure. All right, so this is Dwayne. Say, hey, Dwayne. Hello, Dwayne. And his wife, Mickey. <laughs> Hi. There's Mickey. And we met them through YouTube. They have watched a few of our videos and decided to reach out regardless. And uh, we're coming down in the area and we met them here at the Fulton Mansion. So are y'all retired or are you about to retire? I am going to retire from law enforcement in the next couple of months. Okay. I just have a few few months left. Thank you for yeah. your service. I did I did 26 years and that was uh, 25 and a half too many. And then Mickey, you you do all kinds of things, don't you? I do. Yes, I've worked for 40 years. I've owned and operated hair salons and raised my kids and then I worked some in assisted living, which I enjoyed. Did activities for the the residents and then I was a flight attendant for five and a half years and I recently resigned from that to do something a little yeah. calmer and less stressful. So we're so. not gonna ask you about the Mile High Club. We're not even, <laughs> no. gonna, not even gonna bring that up. I did have people try to sneak in there and yeah. I figured out what they were doing. There you go. <laughs> All right, so uh, yesterday I got to take a tour of y'all's brand new camper. What did y'all decide to get to start your adventure in? So originally we had a, a 28 foot travel trailer and kind of when we decided that we wanted to try part-time slash full-time maybe do work camping, we ended up buying a, a 2019 Holiday Rambler Vacationer 36F. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful motorhome. So whose idea, and I'm gonna ask Mickey, because the husband never tells the truth. <laughs> whose idea was it to uh, give up the traditional lifestyle and become a nomad and go full-timing? Hmm. I would say it was a kind of a, a joint decision. Um, we both had watched some YouTube videos, watched you guys, and, and you seem like you love what you do and we're, our lives are very similar. We've raised our families and they've all grown up and, and gone and living their life. Yeah. So we just wanted to downsize and, and uh, have a less stressful life. And we both love the outdoors like you too. Yeah. And the exercise. So for y'all appear to be in people. better shape than we are. If round is a shape, yes. <laughs> 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 we both, we, I, I, I enjoy fishing. We both love to bike, uh, road bikes and mountain bikes. We enjoy hiking and we kind of- Nature and- Based just, on some of the YouTube videos, we just thought what a better, what a better way to enjoy retirement than, than be outdoors and in beautiful places and yeah. kind of not be stuck to, to one to one locale. Just Do y'all normally travel a good bit, or oh well, I every yeah, now and again? I did a lot because I was a flight attendant. Right. But I've always enjoyed traveling, and uh, Dwayne too. But Dwayne's, you know, his job tied him down quite a bit. But yeah. it's just really a godsend. We'd really prayed about what the next step was in the next season in our life, and then. Um, it just kind of fell right in our lap and we thought this is a no-brainer. You go do something that you absolutely love and get paid for it right. a little bit. Yeah. And, and so y'all are newlyweds, right? We are. We, we got are. married Thanksgiving and we've been dating about three years almost. Mm -hmm. and 
So So are we selling the houses or keeping a house no, or keeping both houses or <laughs> we're gonna combine everything to one house and maybe have keep that as a home base temporarily. Both of our mothers are elderly and they live within within, you know, thirty minutes of our of my house and so there may be a point that we have to return home to take care of them, but we want to we want to enjoy life and see great places and do things between now and then. So that sounds like a good yeah. plan. You don't have to sell your home. There are plenty of full timers on the road that have kept their home base because we never know if there's going to be another pandemic and we need a place to go. Yes. <laughs> um, we've actually talked about trying to buy a home base somewhere to park the RV and not have a house because I don't want all the maintenance in the yard and trying to rely on my children to do what they say they're going to do yes. and take care of things. <laughs> so do y'all have a plan for that, for somebody to take care of the house when y'all aren't there? Um, well, Dwayne's mom lives uh, right across from him. So Should we live on the oh, same okay. on the same she property. Can. My oldest brother is building a home just, you know, 200 yards from me. So there will be somebody there if they they can go. Now check your last name's not Jones, is it? It sounds like a compound. You're... <laughs> well, we 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 do drink lemonade on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> so when everybody starts their full time adventure, they have a bucket list of must sees. And like when we started, our first six months, we were boom, boom, boom. Every two weeks, we were moving. We were going through money like it was vacation land do y'all have a bucket list of things you want to do because i know you said you want to work camp that's how you ended up finding us because we do a lot of work camping videos but before you start that do y'all have kind of like a bucket list of oh my gosh i want to go to mount rushmore or i want to go to area 54 and see the aliens we do we actually have talked about taking a trip um, probably, hopefully, maybe in May. It's so a month from now. Uh, we would love, we would love to go visit the Sedona area. There's some beautiful places to hike there. I've never seen the Grand Canyon. We haven't yet either. We want to go. We would love to go see Yosemite and the sequoias and the redwoods. The redwoods um, are absolutely beautiful, beautiful and amazing. And I know y'all are going to check these two off your off of your list soon on your trip, I think. And so Zion and Bryce Canyon are are going to hopefully be on that that's, roundabout trip also. That's the plan. So, so we just got to get the generator fixed. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it works out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all can go first and then tell yeah, us we'll what let we you know. need to So to I do. guess the last question, I just wanted this to be just a, a quick little little interview and a meet and greet and because y'all y'all had said maybe one day you'll have your own channel but um is what is the plan as far as what are you going to do with all your stuff you've got two houses no. full of stuff right right and so we did the storage locker thing and when we started it was it was fine it was you know a hundred and eighty six dollars a month hundred dollars Five years later, we're paying $500 a month, $6,000 a year. So we've got to do something with, with our stuff. Oh my gosh. What are y'all going to... Sorry, a caterpillar was... <laughs> Not a caterpillar, killer caterpillar. Um, so what is? what are we going to do with our stuff? So the plan right now is as soon as we get home and we've talked about it on this trip, we're ready to, we're ready to start. And so yeah, I need to clean out and I'm going to, uh, thankfully garage sales do really well in my neighborhood. <laughs> so I could sell probably most everything, but there are a few things that I love. Like we talked about my butcher block. I love that butcher block. So the things that we really want, we'll move to Dwayne's house for now and then I guess we'll, we've talked about getting one of those containers. Yeah, like a Conex. So, yeah, yeah fortunately right now I have, I mean, I, my house is 12, a little over 1,260 square feet. So it's not huge, but I have a 40 by 50 metal sh insulated shop. Ah. So I have a lot of storage in there. I, I want to consolidate and sell, get rid of as much as we can, honestly. So we found the selling to be time consuming mm -hmm. and 
not worth the return of investment mm -hmm. from our area. Now we're from BFE, we're in rural South Carolina in the middle of nowhere is where we were in Eastover. And so we ended up just, I got one of those 40 yard construction mm -hmm. containers, anything that we didn't give away or our kids didn't want, I filled that and then we filled up a 20 by 10 Right, but we had planned on doing the selling of stuff mm -hmm. gradually because we thought it was gonna. All right, we were. It was gonna take longer to sell the house. Yeah, the realtor said it take nine months. Oh. First so, weekend it sold, cash offer, twenty four day close. <laughs> wow. Oh well. Wow. So we thought we had all this time, yeah. months uh -huh. to to do it, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, you've got one month. Mm. And less and than that. Like, oh. Crap. What are we gonna do that with all makes this you, stuff? That makes you get it done. Yeah. I've been dragging my feet. I really need to get if busy. You, if you want to get started, you've got to get down and get it done. Yeah. So, I think this was a great trip coming down here, meeting y'all. Well, in anytime person. you meet me, it's true. It's great. <laughs> um, I've heard it said that you are one of a kind. One in, right. one, there's, one, there's there's there is else nobody and else and like Alec. Alec. Yeah. <laughs> One of our managers said that from that we went had dinner with the other night, with the six of us. Now this was but this has been a great trip because we've kind of been able to to spend some time in our motorhome, talk to y'all, get to know you better, find out here. where your gray water leak is. Yes. Um, and so I we talked the other night. We're when we get home, we're I think we're both motivated to to get rid of stuff and and get this show on the road. All right. Well, it has been nice to meet people. So, funny story. When we first started doing this, we watched so many full timers and everything that were out there working. And Alec was, at, we were at home visiting with family. We were working at a campground, but we were visiting with family. And Alec said, Oh, my YouTube friends. No, he said, my friends, Nate and Marissa. We were talking I, about less junk, more journey. And I said, mm -hmm. honey, we don't know them. All we've done is watch them on YouTube. <laughs> I said, you mean your YouTube friends? <laughs> <laughs> but you get so invested in watching all these videos that, um, that you yeah. start thinking of them. As your friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so it's been nice that, you know, we kind of met through that. Mm -hmm. through that connection of YouTube and to actually put a personalized connection to it. Yes. That's been really fun. I agree. And we had um, another, have y'all ever watched RV Texas y'all? They're now RV America y'all, but Tom and Stacy? I don't think so. I don't think we have. So we were in Louisiana and I went to Eagle Brewing and I went in the bathroom and they had a keg that had been cut in half and put on the wall and made into a urinal. <laughs> so being stupid, I took a picture of that and posted it on my Instagram page. And uh, Tom from that said, oh my gosh, you must be at Eagle Brewing. We were just there. <laughs> so he goes, they were in town. And so we... Um, said we would meet up or no we were going to where they were because we were going over in into Galveston and they were in Galveston mm -hmm. for the month and we're walking around downtown Galveston and we saw their Jeep drive by and so I took a picture of his Jeep and posted it and, and, uh -huh. and, and, and no I texted it to him I said is this you he goes where are you and I told him and we ended up having meeting for dinner and we closed oh. the place down. We sat in there for six and a half hours talking. Yeah. That's great. So you never so know what a- they're not just YouTube friends anymore either. Right, right. they're yeah. real, yeah. Friends. Yeah. real friends. And we <laughs> chat with them every now and then. But uh, so you never know when a good picture of a toilet will <laughs> bring get you, you together. <laughs> so if y'all see these two on the road, stop by and welcome them to the journey. And uh, we'll be back with another video soon. We'll talk to y'all later. Front, and that would allow the warm air to come into the room. So there's heat.
These stairs are narrow to me. Yeah. 